All right, Coyote. You okay, man? Your heart racing? Million miles a second. This is the most nervous I've ever been to take a sting or bite from anything. My hand is shaking. Are you guys all ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready if you're ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula hawk. Let's go for it. One, two, here we go, three. Stings. Ah! Stings. Ah! And more stings. Ow, ow! So far over the course of filming Breaking Trail, I've been stung by a giant desert hairy scorpion. Yep, that one hurt. Then I was stung around 60 times by harvester ants, a species that both bites and stings, and who have one of the most potent venoms in the insect kingdom. Ah! Ow, there's one on my neck. Mari, get the one off my neck. That one was pretty intense. Then there were the fire ants. Hopefully my body reacts okay to the venom. Don't want to go into anaphylactic shock or anything. I did okay with the harvester ants, so I think I'm gonna be okay. I took over 300 stings in less than one minute. And boy, did my hands feel like they were on fire. Ow, 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 oh! Mm. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a lot of stings already. This is much worse than the harvester ants. I even tried using my own urine to neutralize the venom. So what I'm gonna do right now, so disgusting. as gross as it seems, is I'm going to dump my own urine all over my arms and on my hands to try to reduce the swelling and the burning from these fire ant stings. Which helped temporarily. However, I suffered for nearly a month as my hands were swollen and covered in itchy white pustulates. After the fire ants, I told myself, that's far enough. Until we discovered the velvet ant. And we all know how that one turned out. All right, here we go. Here you go, ready? All right, let's do this again one more time for good measure. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the cow killer. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, no, I'm never ready. One, two, Three. You good? Yeah. Get your shot. I'm gonna place it right down on my arm. Here we go. Look at my arm shaking. And go. Okay, let me get You're back right? here. You all right? What are you feeling? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Ranked as having the fourth most painful sting in the insect kingdom, this wingless wasp put me into a world of pain for nearly 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super bad. One would think I had gone far enough when it came to experiencing the effects of the insect sting pain index. And then I captured a tarantula hawk, which is ranked as the second most painful sting on the charts. In my opinion, stings are the absolute worst because they not only hurt, they also involve venom injection, which oftentimes has an effect that can last for days. <laughs> It's the most intense pain I've ever felt. I don't think I can talk. So why in the world am I doing this? That's a great question. First of all, 
I am working my way up the sting ladder so that I can be stung by a bullet ant, which is supposed to be the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. However, the real reason is so that we can all get a first-hand visual and audible education as to what happens if you are stung by some of these oftentimes misunderstood and feared animals. I have a feeling that the bullet ant is going to be pretty painful. But before we get there, let's take a look at how to treat a basic insect sting. Ah, that. Ooh, feels good to be out of that hot sun. Ah, my arm. You all right? Yeah, well, my favorite part of any bite or sting episode is to show you guys how to clean up the aftermath. I'm gonna try my best, I'm gonna try my best to get through this. Feeling pretty out of it at the moment. As you can see, my arm is pretty swollen and red. And this is the sting zone right there. And right there is where the stinger actually inserted into my arm. I don't know if you can see that, but it is incredibly sore and tender. Now, I would say it's fair to say that I went through at least five minutes of extreme pain. Oh, wow. Then I kind of snapped back into it and was able to give you guys the outro. And now I'm just feeling really lethargic. Um, almost feel like I have a temperature and my body feels sluggish. Do I sound like I'm talking funny? No, you sound fine. My mouth feels, I think, just dry. I think there's a lot of adrenaline, a lot of heat. And anytime you are bitten or stung by any animal, I always recommend that you seek a professional medical opinion first and foremost. But there are a couple of few basic things that you can do up front. There are no noted cases of a tarantula hawk ever giving a fatal sting to a human. So I'm gonna treat this today just like it was a normal bee sting. First thing we wanna do is clean up the site of the sting with an alcohol pad. Well, why do we do that? Uh, that is just to remove any of the germs or any of the bacteria that may have come from the stinger and the alcohol will actually help to neutralize the venom. Oh, that's cold. My arm is actually hot to the touch, Mark. Stick your hand out there and tell everybody, home. does that feel hot? Oh yeah, super compared to like here to here. Yeah, you yeah. can definitely feel it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. So right what there. does it feel like right now? Like tell us like, compared to obviously when you were stung, it, it was really bad, but now what's it like? Um, at this point, my arm feels really heavy. It hurts when I squeeze my hand to try to make a fist. Look at that, when I do that, you can see it almost just looks like a bunch of liquid underneath the skin there. All that from one sting. <sighs> one sting, yeah. I now understand why the tarantula hawk is so far up there on the sting pain index. Yeah, usually you don't have reactions to stings like this. No, I mean with the velvet ant, there were just a couple of small little welts that formed and they actually went away pretty quickly. Now that was a couple days ago and we gave my arm a chance to rest before we got me stung by the tarantula hawk. Um, this is definitely the worst sting I have ever taken. So after you sanitize the wound, then you want to treat the site for any potential infection. And as we all know, I always go to Neosporin for that one. So let me just get a little bit of Neosporin on the site of the actual sting. Okay, now at some point, this is probably going to become pretty itchy. And if you've ever been stung by a bee, a hornet, or a wasp, you know that eventually you'll get a welt and that will itch just like a mosquito bite. And it really itches. And I really should niche it, but ah, that feels so good. So what I have here is hydrocortisone. This is excellent for insect stings. And I'm going to apply some of that to the sting area as well. Look at that. Plus 12 moisturizers. Good thing for me. Now I'm gonna get some moisturizing on my skin. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. There we go. Kinda looks like toothpaste. It does a little bit. and. Doesn't really smell like much. Maybe just basic hand lotion. Oh yeah, that feels nice and cool on my arm. Oh, that is exactly what I needed right now. Wow, you can really feel how hot the sting is underneath this cream. And the cream is cool, which feels great on the sting. Now the last thing we're gonna use here is a basic cold compress, just like you would get from the doctor's office. And what I'm gonna do is crush this up, drop it on the ground, and then it's gonna get cold. I'm gonna place it on the sting and it's going to feel excellent. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, crack this guy up. You just do this. It'll take a couple seconds for it to get cold. Oh, this is gonna be great. 
Okay, there we go. It's getting cold. All right, now, uh, ideally, you'd want to have a comfortable chair to sit in. Lay back, relax, watch some TV, and just apply that cold compress to the area of the sting. Oh, that may be the best feeling I have had all day. So, Coyote, tell us, what was worse, the anticipation of being stung by the tarantula hawk or the actual sting itself? Oh, that's kind of a loaded question. Uh, both were bad. I think the anticipation is the most fear I have ever had before taking one of these bites or stings. My hand was shaking, my leg was shaking. Uh, I think it was probably pretty obvious on camera that I was really nervous. And then of course, once the sting happened, it's almost like I blacked out for a second. I remember the sting happening, I remember the intense pain, I remember thinking, get the glass enclosure on top of the tarantula hawk so it doesn't get away. And the next thing I remember is laying face down in the sand, trying to just absorb the amount of pain that was radiating through my arm. Um, wow. I think that was the most impressive thing to me was the fact <sighs> you were able to consciously take the glass and put it back on the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, take that, let's take a look at that one more time. Yeah, one more time of me actually getting the glass back on top of the tarantula hawk. That was, I don't know how I managed to do that. But it, what was great about that is that then we had the tarantula hawk for the end of the scene and we got that great release when it flew away on GoPro. Um, a cool shot. And I love always being able to show you guys the release of the animal at the end of an episode. And the one thing that I have to remind everybody out there in the Coyote Pack who's watching, never attempt to replicate anything that you see me do on these episodes of Breaking Trail. I've been stung by harvest ants, stung by fire ants, scorpions, the velvet ant, and now the tarantula hawk. And it's bad and it's painful. And the reason that I do this is so you can see it firsthand and you get an education about these animals that a lot of us fear, but then you also walk away from the episode and you say to yourself, wow, that really looked bad. I'm going to admire these animals from a distance. I'm going to like how you take the bites and the stings and I'm going to watch the episodes. That, guys, that is what would make me happy. I would definitely say that in my quest to find the most painful insect, bite or sting, I've worked my way up the ladder, going from the velvet ant to the tarantula hawk, and we know what's next, guys, the bullet ant. And I think everyone out there in the coyote pack has been waiting long enough in anticipation for that episode. Stay tuned, because I promise you, it's coming out soon. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. As for me, I'm gonna sit over here in the shade and enjoy this cold compress. Ah, oh, what a morning. Did you see the entire Tarantula Hawk episode? If not, make sure to go back and watch my most extreme sting to date as I work my way up to the Bullet Ant Challenge. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Are you guys ready? Let's go for it. One, two, here we go, three.